Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and this Q&A video is about Windows 8 and basically its compatibility to your computer system. Now, uh, this is my particular computer system and this is not my main rig, it's a secondary rig that I have and it's an all-in-one, it has a touch screen, it's an Acer, you know, um, very basic kind of uh, computer system which is fine for just checking my email and doing a few other basic things that I do with this computer system. Keep in mind that this is a, I don't know, a two-year-old computer system approximately, so it's relatively new. Not brand new certainly, but I mean two years, that's not old. So what you do here, first of all, if you are thinking about upgrading to Windows 8, uh, God help you if you do, <laughs> because the interface is completely alien. In any case, if you, some people love it, some people hate it. I think most people uh, really despise it, uh, me included. I've tried it and just can't get used to it. Although I'm thinking I might have to just for, you know, getting, you know, having some ex more experience with it and so on and so forth. But um, I'm really not looking forward to it at all uh, if I decide to uh, upgrade to Windows 8. But in any case, if you do, you want to, uh, you know, find out about the compatibility of it. You can go to, uh, you know, Microsoft's site and um, when you, before you download it or upgrade to it, you definitely do want to run this um, compatibility check and it's free. You just go ahead and do it. And then you can get some idea if you want to actually install it or not. And I think it's good that Microsoft is doing this because, you know, you can get some idea before you actually do it and you know how much work is going to be involved if you need to reinstall everything from scratch or if you need to reinstall a whole bunch of programs or maybe, you know, this doesn't work or that doesn't work. And I'm sure that um, this is not 100% uh, compatibility details. This is just a rough kind of overview of uh, what works and what doesn't work. Again, a couple year old system, you can see that first of all, right away with Windows 8, you'll have to install uh, some kind of, um, you know, uh, program that will play DVDs. That's not such a big deal these days. There's lots of other uh, programs out there, that third party programs that you can play DVDs on. But it would have been nice to have something built right into Windows, uh, certainly Windows 8, um, you know, being what it is. Uh, also on this computer system, Secure, bu uh, secure Boot isn't compatible, uh, so you won't be able to uh, do that. You, it might uh, possibly a firmware upgrade uh, might be able to uh, fix that problem. The touchscreen on this particular device, which I don't use hardly ever, um, you know, because it's a, a pretty big screen. It's like, a, I think it's like a 20 inch screen or something like that. And um, it's, um, you know, it's too far away for me to be honest to, to use the touchscreen. In any case, um, it's, I guess what it's saying here is it's semi-compatible, you know, it's, it's all the functionality isn't going to be there. True image is not going to work. Uh, Oracle, not this particular version is not going to work. Uh, Camtasia Studio, you're going to have to reinstall it. iTunes, reinstall it. Um, there is most of the stuff that's on my computer system, thankfully, is compatible. Although I'm really not um, brave enough yet to uh, install the uh, final uh, upgrade copy of Windows 8 on this computer system. I'm kind of like, uh, should I do it or should I not do it? You know what? If I was to do it, I would probably just do a clean install anyway and go through the work of installing everything from scratch again. Uh, but like I said, I don't really know if I want to do that at this point. But this will give you some idea, uh, you know, what will you go through basically when you uh, decide if you do to upgrade to Windows 8. Not only will it be a kind of like a foreign um, operating system to you, but you will definitely have some compatibility issues with programs. So like I said, this is a pretty new system with new software on it, new updates and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, I can see it now, somebody upgrading for Windows 7 that had a three or four year old computer system. Uh, it uh, really wouldn't be a good experience at all. Um, uh, you know, uh, because they probably upgraded from Vista to 7, then they had some older programs from from that, and they, they could be even older. And, you know, from what I hear, some of the older programs are just not going to work. And you know what? If you, uh, you know, the upgrade is cheap. It's like 40 bucks or whatever. But if you have to um, buy 
software and upgrade your software, that's going to cost you a ton of money. And a lot of people are just happy with the version that they have and they don't want to upgrade and they don't want or they can't afford to spend extra money on it. So keep that in mind. I mean, not only is it, uh, you know, the Windows 8 kind of like the foreign OS that's going to cost you 40 bucks, but it's also factored that into it as well. Uh, and you make your decision from there. So, well, I hope this uh, answers your question and keep them coming. Uh, again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and I'm from 3dgameman.com where we are always having a giveaway. If you want to head over there, you can and enter the giveaway. It's at the top right-hand corner of the screen.